Hey guys, welcome back. Cloud from Black Cloud Gaming, and we're here with Archage. So we continue. The, the stables were down there. I didn't move too far. I came up here to talk to this guy. So here we go. Greetings, traveler. Have you come up this way to build, help us build our house? Not really, but okay. We're provided with stone, and that lady's crotch is in my face. Just wow. <laughs> All we ask is you grab a bunch of materials and donate a few moments of your time. We just got married, you see, and instead of buying us presents, we asked everyone in the air to stop by and lend us a hand at building our new home. Here, take this lumber pack, it's pretty heavy, so you have to move a little bit slower carrying it to the house. But once you're there, the actual work won't take long at all. So, we're helping the people. Building a house requires a pack of lumber and stone and uses labor. Okay, so I'm get off my horse then. We're gonna do that. Uh, where's the house? It's right in front of me, I think. Yeah, right here. Okay, there's your house. Looks the same as before. See, not so bad. Obviously, building a whole new house by yourself takes time, but with a few friends at the snap, just remember to purchase design from a child to get yourself started. Thanks again. That's pretty cool. I know Rockland is trying his best, but I'm still worried those brown tail harpies are moving closer and closer to your home, and I'm afraid they're going to attack before it's attack them before too much longer. Please, would you ever be so kind to hunt? Okay, so we're gonna go kill some stupid harpies. So they don't turn out to be homewreckers. Harpies are up here. There they are. So then. kicker. No, this guy took away my thing. Get back here. Really, dude? You pulled the hate off me and now you're gonna steal my target? Whatever. Okay. They make weird-ass noises. he gets it. What the fuck? I didn't get the kill from that? This fucking archer. Ugh. Dude, pick your target and leave me alone. if it wasn't for that damn archer. Oh, we forgot to chop down the trees. Whoops, why am I running when I have a horse? Actually, I think the running might have been a little bit faster in my opinion. Some scarecrows there. There's a lot of unfinished houses. <gasps> you know what? I think these are player houses over here. Like, you can actually, like, um, take up land... What I really think this is, is that um, as you go around the world, you could pick one of these lands where you actually want to like start building your house. I mean, I'm just speculating here. Molotov on this house. It's in progress. Not enough stone. That's fucking awesome. So you can purchase any of these, one of these lands, I'm assuming, and then like you can build around it. That's fucking amazing. I'm guessing you could pick all over the world, so like this is just one of the many spots where you can like choose to build a like a house. But even still, that's pretty damn cool. Now keep in mind again, I, I remember reading that you won't be able to build a house if you if you didn't if you don't um, have one of the founder packs when the game officially releases. 
And again, that's what I read. I linked everything in the first video, so I'll let you guys read up on that, so. There's some trees around here. He wants me to cut some trees out? I'm standing right oh, unless it's this tree. Yep. Got a lot of wood from that. Okay, now we go back and give it to that guy. Okay, got your wood now. No, not you. It was one of the favorite sellers after the build of Crescent Throne, isn't it grand? Okay. Would you mind taking it to Blacksmith Patty for me? He'll skim me alive by bringing it to him again so soon. Oh, we earned a skill point because we leveled up. Nice. Okay, so we got a skill point here to get a new skill, but I think I'm going to go with one of the passive things here. So, increases the block rate by 15% for 5 seconds after a successful block. That seemed like it would be useful. Let's go for that. So these are just passive skills you get. So um, as I mentioned before, with each skill set of like um, skill trees that you get, they each have like their own unique abilities that they're going to have for like combat. And then they have their own like passive abilities that you can use. Well, they're just going to be passive if you don't use them, but I digress. So what does this guy want me to do? Report to Patty and the Mar yeah, he's up here. Okay. All right, Dave, what you got? Paul broke his pickaxe again. That's the third time this week. What are those rocks made of? Steel? Oh, fine. Okay. Yeah, he just broke shit. Okay, bye. Oh, this guy needs, has a quest, too. What's up, dude? Must have an urgent delivery for for Lord Ronban himself, but it's a per personal range nature, so it must be delivered to his handmaid, Julie. Well, fine. I'll tell you, but you have to keep promises. So you're in love with her, aren't you? Start of the bowl at a very young age. This is the only thing that keeps his regal mane intact. Oh, it's hair cream or something. I hate to see him laugh that in court. So I've been brewing him a special... There's a little beauty for years now. Yeah, it's a fucking hair growing potion. That's funny. So we're going to the town over here to the east. So come on, Jose. We can really just take this time and just look at the world. I mean, I know we've been looking at a lot, but... Damn, it's just so awesome. Even my horse is looking at me with me? What the hell? Wait, is he really looking? No, he's not. He's just looking around. Even the animations for the horse and the horse-like texture itself looks awesome. Just wow, this game looks amazing. Now, I don't see no... Oh, okay, there are edges on the map here. I can see them on the outlines here. I was just wondering if there was, like, any, uh... What is this guy doing? He's on a little donkey! He's just chilling on the donkey. That's fucking awesome. What the heck is that? Why is it burning? What is this? Wind energy? Whoa! What the shit? Wait, what does that do? What is this? Strength Almighty. <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Wait, wait, there's something up there! I don't think there's something up there, but I want to go take a look at it. Oh, that's pretty damn cool. Reach the top of Harpy's Edge Bridge. Oh, that's cool. You get like little, like, not I guess achievements, but that's pretty cool. So, like, it adds a sense of exploration. That's awesome. How far can we go, though? Wow, this is beautiful. Look at that! Oh, man, that's so cool. You, you have to forgive me. Most people would, like, look at this and be like, Oh, what's the big deal? Because, you know, a lot of people complain about graphics and all that bullshit. It's, ugh, don't even get me started on that, but... Like, just looking at the game, like, I'm a sucker for exploration, so, like, I'm always excited when I when I explore the world and I see stuff like this, because, like, that's a big fucking town, dude. Like, holy shit. Most MMOs I play, towns aren't usually that big. So that's pretty fucking cool. 
then you got the shore down here now this game is still in beta again for like the billionth time i keep telling you this so i'm pretty sure there's still a lot to be had like like out here i'm pretty sure like there's a beach down there i'm sure they'll add like quests down there um like, they'll probably maybe add, like, a docks or something, because it looks like where players can go. you got a little island over there you can go off to, and then there's one out there. Um, I'm sure they'll have dynamic world events, such as world bosses or other stuff, whatever, you know? And that's what the Founders Packs are for. It's like when you pre to the game, you're supporting the game as well, you know? So, I hear another, uh... You know, I'm almost tempted to jump off this. I, I have... I have a little thing about video games when I'm on a high ledge. It's just so tempting. You know what? Fuck it, yo. Here we go, guys. We're jumping off this. Oh, I'll hit this rock before you. Be oh, shit! Oh, what the? Water, use W to swim forward. Use space to swim toward the surface. Or X to dive deeper. That's so cool. Oh my god, this is so amazing! Just check this out! Now, if I wasn't recording in my own time, I would like spend this time to see if I could swim to that island, but we're not gonna waste time on that. Now, here's the question How do I get back to the. Oh, I have to go to that shore. Oh, uh, whoops. Because the town's up there that I gotta go to, so. Um. I don't think I'll be able to be this to climb this. I might have to cut the video and make my way over there. I just wanted to do that, but I think, hey, at least we figured out about the um, about the swimming thing. That's pretty awesome that they have, like, underwater. I don't know if there's underwater combat in this, but, I mean, as I go underwater here, can I go? Yeah. I'm underwater, and I can still use one of my skills. Let me see if I can use it. I just want to... This will be a good time to test this out. So, can I use this? Yeah, so my guess is they do have underwater combat. I'm just speculating. It's probably not into the game just yet, but give it time and I'm sure it'll be in there. So, But anyway, I'm going to just cut it here real quick and we'll see you guys when we're back at shore towards town. So I made it to the shore here. I just wanted to show you guys. I just noticed something, but look at the water effects on this. Like, this is just amazing. This is awesome. You got, like, some coral up here. And your horse can swim in the water as well. Oh my god, this game, man. Your horse can swim in the water with you. You can have, like, ship combat and everything. The water just looks amazing. Look at the reflection of the light off the water. This game is just fucking beautiful, man. It just looks amazing. Oh, that's just... I'm just loving this game right now. I'm really having a lot of fun with it, and I'm glad I, I did make the purchase when I did. But, like, this is just... This is just amazing. Alright, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. We'll see you at the town. Alright, we made it back here now. So now we're at the town here, finally. Got a little too distracted. What the heck is that guy doing? That was weird. There's a little shrine down there. Oh, that was weird. What is that? It's a flower! Gather the flower. Get XP. So, yeah, I guess just like um, Guild Wars 2, if you guys ever play Guild Wars 2, when you're out in the world and you're gathering and all that stuff, you get experience. So just like that, when you're out and gathering, you get experience. So it seems like in this game, you could have a totally different lifestyle instead of going around killing stuff. Twenty, Excuse me, sir. You just pushed me. You could just, instead of just going around, like, killing stuff all the time, you could just have, like, your own occupation of, like, if you just wanted to craft or gather and, wow, this town... This is so cool. This is what I like. I love this. See, I'm a real sucker. I, I love medieval stuff, okay? I'm sorry I have to talk about this, but I love medieval stuff. And just when you see the walls like this, and you see, like, the houses and the towns, and just, like, the way it should be. Like, I'm a fan of all this medieval, like, what's it, like, 12th century stuff or something? I don't know. I really love this, but oh, man, this is just so cool. Um, seems like we got a lot of stuff going on here, so I guess let's just check out the town and see what we have around here. So it looks like we got the main town square up here. Yes, can I help you? Oh, he's calling us for us. Will I get in trouble if I play in the, in the, the fountain? No. You got a guild manager here. You need to 
five party members of Wolf Five to form a guild and it costs one gold. Okay, so you can already start guilds, and I'm pretty sure people are already doing that. Honor point collector. I'm pretty sure I'm just speculating here, but you probably use honor points when like you capture like vil oh, not villains or excuse me, criminals. I got the hiccups here and it's really bothering me. I'm sorry guys. Okay. Skill manager. You can access you can change skill sets after activating three of them. Okay. So I guess every town will have this guy here. Or one of these guys here that so you can change your skill set. So I guess you don't stick with the skill sets that once you pick them you're stuck with them. So you can always come back and change them and you'll be restored the, the skill points that you got from when you leveled and you can go with a completely different build. That's actually pretty cool. So maybe the replayability doesn't go as much as if you want to make a new character. You can always just go back and... Um, the hell is the end? You can always just go back and uh, reset it and make like a, a new build in the same character that you have. Okay, so we got a new recall point. At the end here, can you do me anything? Can I talk to you? No? Okay. But, like, you can go into any of the buildings and everything. Like, that's just freaking awesome. I'll just turn that on just for no damn reason. I think I woke him up. He was sleeping when I got in here. Now he's like, oh, what happened? Let's go. And then you can sleep. Like, if you go AFK, you could. I can imagine they would have some uh, role playing servers. So, players who do go AFK, they could just sleep in beds like this at the end just to have some, you know, role playing to it. So, that's pretty awesome. Like,. This game so far is meeting every one of my standards of an MMO. Like usually, I'm very picky with MMOs, but this is awesome. The other thing I don't like so far that they don't they haven't really added it. Well, I don't know if they added it yet, but I'm not seeing is just the Holy Trinity because I, I love the Holy Trinity in, in MMOs because it just adds a sense of uh like you feel important when you're in parties or raids. But I won't judge it too early because I've gotten to that point, so we'll see. Just looking back there, doggy, what you doing? Try to doggy. He's... no. Oh. He's barking! What you doing? Where you going, boy? Very stray dog. I wonder if I can get a dog as a pet. That'd be awesome. I see how everybody's using their mounts and they're going on. I'm sorry, guys, if you if you just want me to speed up the process and you guys want me to get to the point of this, but I'm just really amazed and astounded by this. About everything in the game and all this. So, I mean, like I said, this is more for people who are really into MMOs and they, they want to see this kind of stuff and they want to know about what the game's about and you know I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would love to support and back games and they just don't have the money for it but they want to know what the game's about so I'm just trying to do my best here to just show you every single detail about the game so that you guys in your own way are like supporting it I guess even though if you can't like you know financial financially do it you know oh what what, what is this this is a Archium workbench. I'm, got, I'm guessing this is for... Oh, alchemy. Well, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay. So we'll go up to the castle here. Supposedly where the guards are going to throw me out. But they did. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. You can go into the castle and everything. Just... Oh, this is amazing! But here's a champion we gotta talk to her. So, here we go. This is my lord's special tonic. He was growing quite distressed at thought of running out. Here's some coin as a delivery for you. You do promise not to tell anyone, don't you? Well, if you give me a little extra coin, I'll promise to stay absolutely quiet. <laughs> what is this? Patreon. Oh, okay. Regenerates 10 labor every 5 minutes while online. Okay, so I have a patron status. Okay. Allow items to be listed in the auction house. Okay, I just noticed this. this is why I'm looking at it. But the patron status is when, like, I guess you're, you're a founder of it. So it's like a little bonus that you get. Okay, what do you want? Damn those blood hands. They killed King Peridin and kidnapped the young princess. Oh, that's cliche. And now they're waging open war with the Crescent Throne. You say they were looking for you, right? Why not join up with us and take the fight to them? I'll admit the leaders are clever and partially collapsed at the old... Souls Grid Gate, cutting off the route to the mainland, but we got more than enough boats to send up. Oh, you gotta get me a boat? So the they'll set you up with a boat. Yeah! Oh my god, I'm not ending this episode until I get a boat. Dude, excuse me, Mr. Horse, do you mind? I'm trying to talk to this guy. I'm sorry, Chamber, I'm very busy. Speak to a guard if you need to report a crime. Bring a message to Malphys. Okay, Malphys, I've tried to see him in years. But Lucius Quinto, you say if that's true, then things are far more serious than we realize. To limit their influence here, but their appearance in Blue Mist is unheard of. And if Malphys is right, it's clearly angered by some very important people. 
God, Captain Baker to Crescent Port. Tell him my name is Swift Bay. So these guys are really becoming a problem. But we'll deal with that later after I get my boat. So it looks like we gotta go down to the south side here. I just wanna explore this a little bit more. Princess Ellen! What do you mean kidnap the princess? She's right here. What do you want? I don't have time to listen to everyone who comes call. Whoa! What a snarky princess you are. Hey, I got my weapon out, and I'm on the throne, and I'm in front of the princess, and none of you guys are doing it. You guys are like the laziest fucking guards ever. I could explore the castle, but I don't. I feel like we've been here for too long already, so... And I'm more interested in getting my boat. Time to get a boat. Just, like, the art style of this game is so beautiful. I love it. I'm just enchanted by it. It's just awesome. Okay, so we gotta go down towards this way. The hell? What is this? What is this? Oh. That thing's lagging me out a bit. Okay, are we back now? Are we good? Okay. For some reason, I walked into that portal and I was like, really? It's, it like reduced my fraps a bit. So here we have the auction house that we can go into, but it's still pretty early level, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, just a fair warning, I will give you guys a heads up. Sometimes fraps likes to act up when I'm recording and it like completely slows everything down, so... The videos get cut off at random points, so I apologize for that. Oh, hello, Al. Yeah, see, he carries little spear things, so... But, I don't know, just a heads up to you guys. So, uh, let's go get my boat. This guy's playing with chickens. What the hell? Looking for Chris Apore? You just follow the road, it'll take you right there. Cool story, bro. Thanks for telling me that. This guy's got a... What the hell is this? That's a weird-ass looking pet. Kind of cool looking, though. It's so cute. It looks like a kangaroo donkey thing. That's so weird. Let's go to the port. Yeah, this looks like it's taking us to the docks. Yeah, here we go. And I see a player over there with a the boat already. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind? What the hell are you digging up there? Fish? Okay. I didn't know fish grew underground. Oh, shit. Gonna get my boat. Message from General Gonovan. Finally, I've been itching to go after those filthy blood hands. Hmm, it says they're here. The general also offered the chance to help us. Have you settled on an answer yet? Yeah, how about yes? Anything to give me a boat. When you visited the stern looking general, your room burned with new memories. You saw guards in similar armor posted around Iana's house. As she shyly showed Lucius the home, half apologizing for its extravagance. The guards glared suspiciously. Though a well-received playwright, Lucius was still a commoner. In another memory, her father sternly reminded her that she was expected to marry within her rank. Yet another, Iana and Lucius agreed to meet again in secret. She said she knew that being famous he was surrounded by many women and might not want the hassle of dating a noble's daughter. But just in case, she'd bought a ring to symbolize their love. Lucius put it on and kissed her. Okay, I don't know what that's doing on my boat, but okay. Glad to hear you're in on this as first as your mission. I want you to head across the bay and deliver these orders to Officer Chloe. I send her an access to Blood Hand Presence there. Okay. Basic call on Blood Hand Help Officer Chloe. Blood Hand and reinforcements in the way. I'll get moving. Doesn't tell me twice, man. So many Ferries can carry you across a river or even the ocean. Look for a ferry NPC to receive a ferry quest. Oh, what's a fairy NPC? 
Well, what is this guy doing? He's like flailing around. Oh, he's getting my attention. Kill the star traders. These are all traders. I'm not gonna worry about it for now. What? Get off the horse. Okay, seems pretty nice. So, okay, we can pick up the boat then. No boat's worth dying for. Yes, it is. Have you not met Captain Jack Sparrow? Every boat's worth dying for. So where do I go for my boat? Okay, over here, I think. No, back there. WTF. Oh, I gotta pick the boats out here. Alright. Yeah, if got a you're boat. near water, you can summon a boat. However, if you move away from the water, the summoning will automatically be cancelled. If your boat is destroyed in battle, you will be temporarily unable to summon it. This is gonna be awesome. That's cool. They <laughs> just randomly jump in the water. Oh, I think I'm stuck. Oh, here we go. What the hell is this? Allows the owner to board. Allows only the owner to board and prevents additional passengers from boarding for a minute thirty seconds. Any passengers to remain until they dismount. That's kind of cool. Disembark from current device. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can turn around here. That person's got a legit boat over there. That's pretty damn cool. This is so cool. So this is just a taste of what you could do for now, but imagine later on of you actually getting your own ship. But I mean this already. I This is the first time I've ever done anything like this in, a, in an MMO. This is just fantastic. Oh my god. Just wow. Now, I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's a random boat out there. Oh, I think Fraps might be acting up here on me, so... Hang on, guys. Okay. So, due to the quality of the way the game's just acting up now, I might end up cutting the video once we get to shore here, but... This is pretty, pretty damn awesome. I'm loving this. We're not gonna go too far out there, because I know there's creatures and monsters out there, and we don't need them attacking us at, at this level already, so... But there's no way to speed up the boats. Damn, they go slow. Okay, I'll just disembark here, I guess. Peace! Oh, and the boat just stays there. Okay. And we talk to her. You got some guts running away over here to the cabin, send you cha! Burn cast every day, and he's been putting on the drink. What are you thinking? The blood hands have cans up along the beach, and they're passing through the ships and landfall. We're holding out on our own here. It's only a matter of time before we're overrun. Like walk into an ambush. Go in the victims and see if you can figure out what's going on. Alright, I will. So, but uh, the video quality is just kind of cutting down a bit, so I'm just going to cut it here. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys like this uh, this video series of Let's Play that I'm doing. I'm going to keep doing more of these with this character specifically. But also, keep an eye out just on these videos. I'm going to try to do um, a, a live stream. I'll probably post it, and we'll do a live stream with uh, another race or character or whatever, so you can see what the other factions and sides are like. So anyway, let me know you guys about think about the game. If any of you guys out there are also fans of the game, if you guys are interested in the game, let me hear your thoughts and process on the game and what you guys think about it. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.